Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So we actually just got some new patch notes as well as the release, um, kind of a sneak peek for the new monsters. So I'm going to be reviewing them right now, just taking a look at, um, you know, their, their base stats at level 50. We can't see their stats at level 60 yet, um, but I can kind of, kind of make a estimate based on their stats on level 50 and also taking a look at the new patch notes um there's going to be a clan the, the clan i think it's called clan clan wars clan uh clan conflict or something i can't i can't remember exactly um but it's coming out very very soon so i decided to to kind of just uh take a look at it and i'm going to be reviewing the new monsters as well as um giving my thoughts on the new patch notes all right so first things first we're going to take a look at the new Nat 5, the Poseidon. Now this this could possibly be the next Heroes Fest monster. Um, it is very, very close to the end of the month. I think they're they're starting this update uh, tomorrow. And then the Clan Wars is going to be starting like, you know, next week. So this is, th this this monster will be added to to the game. Um, I think starting, starting tomorrow. And it is near the end of the month. Um, actually, wait, no, there's still another week. So... It's a, there's a possibility that this monster isn't going to be the clan battle monster. It might be like a new, um, or not, not a clan battle monster, um, the, the Heroes Fest monster. I was thinking it, it could be possible that this monster is going to be, um, you know, similar to the Siegfried, where you can summon him from clan battles, or it might possibly be that he's going to be the new Heroes Fest monster. Um, I hope he's not the Heroes Fest monster, because his light dark version is actually really, really strong, and... You know, maybe I can get lucky and pull pull one of them. Um, so this is the fire fire Poseidon. He's a tank. He's got an 80% attack down with a 80% uh, sap. It's not too bad. I mean, this this is pretty decent for Titans, and you can use him as a tank. Um, the sap's kind of shitty for Titans, but he does have the clan battle you know leader skill, so you can kind of use him for clan battles for the attack down. Um, the sap is still somewhat useful early game if you don't have a lot of like courageous strikers if you're super super early on um, And you want to you want to do a little bit of clan battles Just having him on your team will definitely help a little bit just because of his uh, Attack down and sap you don't really need to even raise him to six stars You can just like kind of keep him at five stars make him tanky and then just throw him in and he'll be able to do a Do an okay job um, Yeah, he's not he's definitely not top tier, but he's not He's not too bad either. Now the, the Water Poseidon actually has a really, really uh, interesting skill set because he's a he's a team morale booster um, with that's an attacker and he also has Predator. Now I definitely really, really like this monster. Um, I would definitely raise this if I if I had one because the the thing is like you can actually use him to help your other farmers. Say for example you have like a Dark Mona um, on a Siphon set and you wanna you wanna make sure that she actually gets her bar full like more of the time. Um, just just having him on your team will actually increase the the SP bar gain. Like the Dark Mona has like a thirty percent base. Um, having this morale boost will give give her like another um, you know like forty percent base. And then and then the uh, the siphon set. If you can do, I think you'll need to fill sixty percent of your bar. So you'll need to basically um, you have to like overkill the enemy by only by like twenty percent. Oh wait 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 no no no. My math is bad. Uh, I think around 1.5%, like 1.5 times their damage. Um, because the way Siphon works is it, like the the way Siphon gems work is you you siphon back 40% of the per total percent of damage dealt. So for example, you if you just happen to kill an enemy at like from 100 to zero, um, it will fill your SP bar by 40%. So you need to. Um, yeah, you need to get 60%, so you need to you need to kill that monster and then do enough damage to basically overkill him by another 50% of their HP bar to, in order to get your your um, bar full on first turn. So he can definitely help with that because if you're just short a little bit, um, having him on your team will make it so that you can you can basically get your bar full. Plus, he also has Predator, which means that if you're using him for if you're using him for the same purpose, but for like dungeon farming or you're farming the further like uh, further on in the maps, for example. If you're farming the last um, last two maps, like Aurora Plateau and uh, what's the other one, Glacial Plains, um, the the maps are like like the gold stage, for example, is uh, wood. Actually, wait, there's no wood. Uh, there's water and fire and dark. Um, so having a water monster on that team is definitely the most advantageous. 
So I think he's really, really good for, for, for that purpose. Um, he definitely has a lot of practical use, this monster. And he's also an attacker, so he's he's really good. Um, you can also use him in, in PvP offense, because this team morale boost is really good for like a full offense team as well. So he's definitely, he's definitely I would say, the best out of the three. Um, the Ward 1 is a Taunter with a 80% Taunt and 80% Stun. I guess he's alright for early game PvP or like mid-range PvP. Um, he's not too bad because people don't have like that high resistance on all their monsters yet, especially on their offense team. But once you get higher, um, this isn't going to be, you know, it's not going to be too effective, just the Taunt and the Stun. Um, but he is relatively tanky, so I guess you could you could still use him for that. And you, I don't know, maybe maybe he could be good for like the new clan battles. Maybe it requires a lot of CC or stuff like that. And maybe w once they fix Colossus, you know, like fix the stats, you can use him for Colossus because he's a wood monster with taunt. So you know that's definitely not not bad. Um, now the Dark Poseidon is really interesting. He's a he's a battle rush monster who's also a defender, and he has an eighty percent attack down. Um, I think this is really strong because he's going to be really tanky. If you can actually get him and, you know, like, evil 3 him, put him on defense, he's going to be really annoying. You just put him on, like, a, on, a, on a pugilist set. Nobody's going to hit him first because he's a battle rush monster who's really tanky and he doesn't have a lot of threat. However, he does, like, he will have some threat if you put him on pugilist and people will be forced to either, um, you know, e either ignore him, but then he has a chance to stun your team because he can get his bar full sooner, or you just, uh... You kind of just leave him be, and he, uh, you know, or, or you just try to kill him, but then you, you kind of can't because he's always um, healing himself. So I think he might actually be better than, um, you know, the, a lot of people use Dark Odin, but people actually use Dark Odin for her leader skill as well. But like, if you don't have him as a variant versus like a non-variant Dark Odin, um, he actually might be better for defense because he's tankier. And this is the this is the light beside him. Now this this thing is like just. This, this thing is like, uh, it's, it's like my ultimate wet dream. It's a 50% it's a morale boost monster with elemental edge, who's also an attacker, and who's also light type with the, you know, the extra 10% crit. Um, it's just, it doesn't get better than this. Like, this this monster is, is going to be insanely strong. You just, uh, whichever way you, you use him, put him on a siphon set, he's going to be farming like mad. You can use him to farm anything because he has elemental edge. Plus he's light, so he's element neutral against everything. Um, yeah, just, I, I have nothing to say, like, this monster is perfect, like, he's, 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 like, fire Siegfried, but, like, twice as good, basically, um, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty much it for him. So, yeah, this is the, this is the Pixie, now, there's a possibility that this might just be, like, a normal monster added to the pool, um, uh, for summoning, which I would actually like more, uh, it could also be possible that he's, she's gonna be the next, um, you know, rebirth monster for rebirth festival. I, I actually actually don't mind. I actually don't care either way because I could I could get a shit ton of her um, either way. If if she's if she's the next uh, rebirth monster, I can just grab like three of her really really fast. Um, if she's like a summonable monster, I can basically just. Um, I don't really have to have to do anything too much, but but the thing is, like the light dark versions aren't as I don't think as are as good as the fire one. I think the fire one is definitely the best one. So I'm hoping that she's actually just a normal monster, and I can just keep summoning her and keep building uh, multiple copies of her. Now she is a she's a, the fire one's a tank type. Um, she has adrenaline and defense up. I think this is really nice because she you know she's basically has self sustain and she has a defense buff. Uh, this is very very strong late game for Titans. The adrenaline isn't too much, but the defense buff is very very good for Titans. However, it only lasts two turns compared to like the Wood Hana who has defense buff for three turns. So she's definitely a tier below, but she's still very very good because not too many monsters have this this buff skill. I think only three monsters have it now: um, Hana, her, and the Kotin, the the water Kotin. I think only the three of them have the, actually have the defense buff. Um, this skill is very very strong, especially if you're if you have like a full six star team uh, with like max out stats and stuff. The defense buff, you know, basically is it stacks multiplicatively, like you know, with the th their HP pool. So the damage mitigation will will be more effective if your monsters have higher HP. So I think this is definitely very very strong for like you know really late game titans. 
Um, she's definitely a top tier monster. She's also very, very good early game for Golem B9 because she has a self sustain. Like, she's a self sustained healer. Um, self sustain is basically the best for Golem B9. Plus, she has the shield, to, or not the shield, the, the defense up to, to help your team, um, you know, kind of be tankier. And she can sustain them because she's a healer. So, that's definitely really, really good. The other good thing about the Pixies is they have a, they have a crit lead um, that's usable everywhere. So this this is a very useful leader skill. Um, crit lead has a lot of uh, a lot of practical uses. The water one is a is a sapper. It's a one turn sap with a dominance buff. Um, this thing doesn't actually work too well. Like it doesn't really. Uh, it's basically like SP siphon, but it doesn't steal their SP bar. It just reduces their SP bar. So it's kind of like thirst. If you put it on your your team, and it also can't be resisted, so I, th I guess that's pretty good. But the bad thing about this is once she actually puts up the buff, um, your monsters would have already went one turn first. So if it only lasts two turns, it basically means that they only get this the the uh, the effectiveness of this buff for one turn. Like it's an offensive buff, so unless you actually put it up before they attack, it's not really useful. Unlike a defensive buff, where you put it up, and then the next turn you're expecting the enemy to attack. So basically, um, a defensive buff is, is 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 effective for two turns, but offensive buffs actually only are effective for one turn after. If it's only for two turns, um, it basically means it's only effective for one turn. And her, her sap is also not very good. It's only a 70% 70, 70 chance for one sap. So I don't think she's uh, I don't think she's all that good. Um, the wood one has sleep and vigor. Sleep is, I guess, okay. Vigor is, uh, Vigor is decent. It's not too bad, um, but it's also not like very, very strong. It's not, it's not, um, it's not top tier like like defense buff. Um, but I guess you can kind of use her early on if you want to use her for B7. The Vigor could be pretty nice, um, you know, kind of like a Water Siren. But then again, you could just use a Water Siren. So, and Water Siren has a more effective first skill, and it's very easy to evil three. So I don't really see a lot of practical uses for this Wood Pixie. She's kind of just, uh, I think she's kind of food for the Fire One. I think they're all food for the Fire One. Actually, the Light One's not bad because the Light One has a, a defense down for two turns. So she actually has an effective buff and she has Vigor as well for your team. Um, I think she can be a really, really effective healer for Titans. You just basically put her on your team and she also provides a defense down. Um, yeah, I definitely build one if I have one just to use for Titans. I think because she has a very nice, uh, nice skill set. Like these, these two skills together are very, very good. Um, the dark one is a battle rush resilience buffer. I guess she's okay for maybe PvP defense, kind of mid tier. Definitely not top tier. Um, you know, she can kind of be your sustainer, and she also has self sustain, so nobody's gonna hit her. And if she gets her heal off, she basically um, can max heal the enemy because she or max heal her her team, not the enemy, because um, she has she's a recovery type. Nobody's gonna hit her first because she's a dark healer, so she has like high high base resist, and she has the battle rush to heal herself. So I don't think people are gonna try to kill her first. Plus she's dark type, unlike unlike light monsters. So like dark attackers don't really have any advantage if they attack her. Um, resilience buff isn't as strong as like shield or anything like that, but it's still. Decent. I mean, you can fill their SP bar when they get hit. Might be able to use her for like mid-tier PvP, but I think that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you can use her as a healer for like golems and stuff. I guess that that also works as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely build a fire one if I if I ever got one. I was actually hoping that would be better, but you know, it's just uh, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's that's all I can say. All right, let's let's take a look at the uh, maintenance notice. Um, this is going to be the the patch notes for the next next patch. Now, there's a lot of things that basically are I think they're having trouble describing with words. So I'm going to guess what they kind of mean. Um, first things first. Basically, the update is going to be happening tomorrow. Um, there's going to be a new Nat Five, Nat Four, and uh, Poseidon is Clan Config seasonal reward. All right. Okay. So the the, the Poseidon is, is going to be obtainable from uh, from Clan, which could possibly mean that the light dark version are going to be un unattainable, similar to like the Siegfried. But but that that means like you know I can I can try to get the water one, and it would be really really nice for farming. Imagine if you had four of these on your team. It's basically like 
they're boosting each other's bar. So like everyone has a 40% SP bar boost. And then uh and then they all have Predator. I don't think that's too effective. I would actually use it use him with another self buffer. Because you know, there's like also blue soul generation as well, so um but yeah, if you just put him on a siphon set, he would be really nice. Definitely would would try to try to get one of those. Um, you will only be attained limited through Heroes Festival. Um, so I guess the Pixie might be the Rebirth, the, the Heroes Festival Rebirth monster. Um, I guess that's not too bad because I can immediately grab like three of the Fire ones. Like as variants, maybe possibly, because I have a lot of lats. I can I can uh, feed them all into the grinder to make a lot of variants if I really need to. There's gonna be a clan conflict. I think that's what they're gonna call it. Uh, twenty versus twenty, clan versus clan, major major cooperating battle mode system. Okay, that was a that was a mouthful. Unlike the region defense, clan master and clan officer will be able to request to join clan conflict once per day. It will be a total of six per season, and the ranking will be dependent on your gained clan points um, and the battle rec record. After seasonal calculation obtained, clan rewards will be distributed equally to all clan me members. So similar to clan battles, not really different. Um, while participating in the new season, last season's first ranked clan clan member will be represented as separate color when using the chat so it's just kind of like an honor system for whoever's first in your clan um last regional defense test service has ended so it'll be changed as the official service and clan conflict will be changed as test service i have no idea what the fuck this means um <laughs> the season that includes the week update will be counted as practice season so the Seasonal reward will be normally provided, but all timer reward winner benefits and history will not be applied. I have no clue what this means, but I, I think what this means possibly is uh, some similar to like you know if you do a battle, the clan points will be you will be able to get like clan points, but you won't be able to get like weekly rewards or something like that. Similar to like you know how clan battles work now. It's like if you do the battle, you can get the clan points. But that uh, weekly calculation won't be calculated on the first week, so I guess we can immediately go into clan battles right up right after the update. So that's that's actually pretty exciting. Um, full season will be starting on um, you know the the twenty eighth um, and at at twelve local time, according to additional addition of each clan battle type. The original clan battle will be shown as regional defense. And the new clan battle will be shown as clan conflict. Okay interesting um if there are 20 people in the clan you will not be able to, if there are less than 20 people in the clan you will not be able to attend so that's pretty straightforward please look like clan conflict guidance for more um information astral ship package added so they're they're actually um finally releasing the uh the new the new astral ship pack um you know when you upgrade with store by the storage and stuff like that um Depending on each astral chip, the advantageous function for clan conflict and storage will be included. So I guess there's going to be a, an advantage to having a better astral chip, um, which means that you should probably, you know, I think unless they change the prices, but there's going to be, you know, how there's like a, a thousand crystal thing in the shop where you can buy the the second tier of the astral chip for a thousand crystals. Um, it actually might be worth buying now. You should you should probably get it after the update. I'm actually short. I only have like 600. Actually, wait, no, I don't have 600. I have like 400 um, crystals. So I'll probably need to like do like two more hills fest before I can I can do that. Um, please, astro ship package will be available for 30 days after the date of the purchase. So I, I think that might be the third tier because the third tier is only purchase purchasable through through uh. Through money, please be advised that Wing Singer's price and valid validity. I can't even read that word. Period has been. What's the noun f noun form of valid? Validity, yeah, validity. Period has been changed. Uh, release celebration discount will be applied. All right, I have no idea what the hell this means. Basically, there's going to be a discount for a new package that involves the Astro Ship. That's all we need to know. Promise system with limited ascension package added. 
After attaining the last reward of the new attendance check, um, for Star Light Victoria, the promise system will help Victoria grow will be added. Uh, it is the system to help new players settle down smoothly so it will not appear for those who have already finished the new player attendance check. Um, okay, so this is only for new players. The package of the of users who are running Victoria Promise System will be added. The package will be is created to help new players level up uh, to a certain level quickly. You will be able to purchase only once as limited. So basically this is a package that's basically like extremely high value but it's only sold to new players so old players are not able to get this which is I guess kind of sad. Um, when completing specific requirements uh, of the promise system you will be able to purchase when purchase it will be distributed to your mailbox. The package sales period is limited and will not be popping up when the time is expired. For more exp information please view limited Ascension package guidance, sorry, whatever. 30-day uh, package cost change. 30-day package cost will be adjusted permanently. Um, you'll be able to purchase this 30-day package on the special package on the right side of the lobby. Discount for new content celebration is over. Um, I don't know if they're making this more expensive or cheaper, but hopefully cheaper, not more expensive. Um, world map burning event mark adjusted. So this is uh, in order to view the burning event um, process easily the guidance tab will be added at the bottom right the world map so pe people can tell like when when there's gonna be like double XP double gold and stuff um, and on which map so I guess that's pretty nice and th these are some bug fixes um, I guess these aren't too important um, improve convenience time of fusion chart will be changed to local time so that's pretty good um, for occurrence battle stop during auto battle due to lack of energy we have fixed to save the energy by blacking out the screen Okay, the loading screen will be changed better. The amount of dragon stone shown on the tab of dragon dungeons displayed on top right, so that's pretty good. Um, the current amount of specific items in Shady, Shady Shop will be shown. Skill information tab will be bigger. And the font size will be smaller, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, and then the Rebittal event is going to be ending very, very soon as well. So yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be happening in the ne next uh, in the next update. So this is a little bit of information on the new um, limited package for the for the new players called the Promise System. Um, basically, it means that you, if you buy this, you get mid star stones and low stones to uh, to to uh, evolve your Victoria, and that's it. All right, that that that's kind of shitty. I I, I don't know. Um, Next thing is uh Next thing is this uh this clan battle thing uh, or this 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 airship thing. Um original airship complete with relaxing garden so there's no benefit. Wait. So wait, if you buy this with a thousand astrogem, it only lasts thirty days. Are you are you fucking with me? I can't even get or not a thousand astrogem, a thousand crystals. I can't even get a thousand crystals in thirty days. You get one 100 astrogen delivered instantly is this daily you get 100 astrogens back daily let me think about this 30 days that's 3000 astrogens if you use 3000 to summon it actually might be worth buying actually because it actually gives a uh, it gives bonus slot slots and it makes your astrogen stronger and with the 100 astrogens if this is wait if this is this only one times if this is only one times i, I it actually doesn't seem like a lot. If it's only one times, it's like, it's pretty shitty. If it's like delivered daily, it means you get 3,000 astrogens back. But that actually might be too good. So, probably not going to happen. It's probably only one time. Alright, this is too expensive. I can't I can't afford that. Like, 1,000 crystals. Uh, a 30 day... So, th they're basically making this pack on still only 30 days. Um, you get 500 astrogens if you buy this. And it gives you energy for 30 days so you get 1500 energy back um, additional hidden treasure location five additional hidden treasure location added to the astro ship I guess that's all right um, astro ship name seal so this is kind of like a visual thing um, instant access to storage two and three 50 plus 100 slots so you get 150 extra slots back extra so that's pretty that's actually pretty cool um, clan conflict bonus added your astromon stats get you gain 10% for the 
from clan battles. That's actually quite a lot. I see people on the side complaining that this is uh this is this is pay to win and yeah, it is. It is pay to win. It is pay to win. Uh, that's that's all I can say. I, I I don't I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Like you buy this, it lasts thirty days. Um, you get ten percent bonus stats from from uh yeah, you get ten percent bonus stats, which actually is quite a lot. Because if you think about it, if you, like your Odin has like like say for example, you're running some uh like a fire Odin. She has like a thousand like uh. She has like 15, 15k HP, you know, after you gem her up. Um, and then you add this on top, and she gets like... Yeah, yeah, she gets like 1.5k extra HP. Which is pretty significant if you think about it. Um, Plus, you get bonus attack, you get bonus defense, you get like higher everything. It's just 10% to all slots, not just one slot, or not one per ten percent to all stats, not just one stat. It's almost like if you, if it's like a balanced type monster, and like recovery is a pretty shitty stat, but like you know, three of the stats added together, that's like a 30% extra um, increase to stats. It's basically like having an extra leader skill almost. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much like having an extra leader skill, almost, um, if you think about it like that. Where in like PvP, all the stats are kind of important, so it's almost like having an extra leader skill. Uh, you know, I made, a, I made a bet with a friend. I made a bet with a friend. You know, in my last channel update video, if for those of you that watched it, I was like, the devs are going to probably fuck up this clan battle thing. Um... And a friend of mine's like, why, why are you so pessimistic? It's like, I'll, I'll bet you ten dollars if, uh, like, I'll bet you ten bucks if, uh, if, if you, um, if they make, if it, if they do a good job, like, you owe me ten bucks. If they fuck it up, then I'll, I'll give you ten bucks, basically. And yeah, things are looking pretty good for me. I, I think I'm, I might actually win this bet. Um, so... You know that that's that's actually pretty good to hear. It's not it's not good for the rest of you. It's it's pretty good for me. I I, I might I'll, I'll I'll probably win the bet. Um, but yeah, there's there's gonna be a what early bird discount price event. Newly changed at astroship at a discount price. Um, they're selling it for a discount price during the event period. You'll be able to purchase Wing Singer and Albatross at a discounted price, and uh, you will not be able to refund. Storage benefits will be applied after the purchase. We would like to apologize for having the different content from Storage 2. I have no idea what this means. Um, after package product usage period expires, you will not be able to move or use the Astromon storage, storage number 2 and 3, so please be careful. Uh, interesting. Okay, so they're basically just gonna, they said they're just gonna sell it for cheaper, um, the Astro Ship. But yeah, these are gonna be the new Clan War monsters. Um, and the Water one already seems pretty good. I, uh... Hey, what if Clan Battle Leader Skill works for these, these new Clan Battles? Think about it. What if Clan Battle Leads now work for Clan PvP as well? That actually makes a lot of sense. Damn, Clan Battle Leads actually might be much stronger now. Because you can use them in two different contents. Uh, Alright, I think that's pretty much it. That's 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 all we have, all the information we have on, uh, on clan battles. My thoughts are... They did one thing right, which is the reward is good. Like, the Poseidon is a good reward. I mean, this one's not too good, this one's, uh, this one's alright. But like, you know, I, I summon an egg... I might be able to maybe out of four of them get a water one and then eventually I can evil three it so I guess I guess it's good the, the rewards are good um, but yeah I don't, I'm not too sure about the system I'm not too sure about the astro ship thing like if it's gonna if it's gonna heavily impact the game like 10% stats if it's gonna make it extremely pay to win um, like you have to have it or else you can't compete in like top tier pvp or some shit like that um hopefully not hopefully it's not it's not too big of a deal because i don't have that much money to spend um 
but yeah, and uh, if if the clan battle rewards are good, then I'll be happy because you know I'll, I'll we'll have new content. If they're not, then I will I will win my bet. So I'm happy either way. It's a win-win for me. It's you, you should have bet all your friends. You know, you should have all of you should have bet your friends. Um, yeah, either way, it's win-win for me. But <laughs> but yeah, I'll will see you guys in the in the next video. Um, probably after the update tomorrow. So. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll do a first look on the on the new patch, um, but yeah, see you guys. And I'll s what the fuck? Wait, I, I suddenly forgot what I, what I usually say in the end of the videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yes, that's what I usually say. Peace out.